When you run a program from the command shell or from TCSH or Bash if you're on Linux or from the terminal if you're running on OS X, your running process gets started with three open file streams. Um, the first file stream is called standard input or STDN and uh, it's the file stream that your program can read to get input from the user um, from what they type into the terminal window or the command shell. Um, and then the second file stream is called standard out or STD out um, and it's where normal output from the program goes. Um, so for example in a node.js program I'll make a new JavaScript file called um, standard IO. If I use console.log, this output is actually going to get written to the standard output file stream that automatically gets open um, as part of my program. Um, the way that manifests when you're running a program normally in the command shell, and let me go to my WebStorm projects logging, and I should have a file called standard IO now. Um, so the way this works when you're running it from the command shell is it appears in the terminal just like you'd expect. So if I say node standard IO, I get that line normal output. Um, but this is coming via um, the standard out STD out um, file stream that my process owns. So the other thing I can do with standard output is redirect it. So if I run node standard IO again, I can redirect that into a file, like let's call it normal.txt. And then that creates a file called normal.txt in the same folder. If I look at it in uh, text editor, you see it's just the same output as I was writing to the command shell, um, except now it's been redirected into a file. You can also redirect it into another program. But what if I um, want to have an error message? What if I have a program that's producing a lot of output? Like, uh, for example, um, for i equals zero, i less than a thousand, I plus plus, and if I equals um, 567, then print console.log, oops, I got an error. So now I want to run this program and I want to watch for my error message. And so I go ahead and I run my standard IO program again. And uh, actually I forgot one thing that I wanted to do, which is I want to write the value of I. There. So now, if I run it, well, did you see that there was an error? Um, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. It's actually in there, but it may be hard to notice, particularly if I have more than a thousand lines. I could have a hundred thousand lines of output. And uh, redirecting here doesn't help either because uh, um, I'm writing that error message to the same output stream as I'm writing all of my output. So if I redirect it to a file, it's in a file and I can search through the file, but it's the same problem. What I actually want to do is write it to a different stream 
called console.air that isn't getting written to the um, isn't getting written to the same place. So um, when I run it now, so all the normal output got redirected to normal.txt, but the air output still appears on the console, so I can see it. And this is really a desirable use case um, for a lot of a lot of applications that generate output. So you save the normal output into a file or you pipe it into a different program and then error output appears on the screen. Um, sometimes if you're running these things non-interactively, you want to write your error output to an error log. And you can redirect your error output as well. So standard output is this normal redirection operator, which is actually on the first output stream. But there's a second output stream for error output, standard error, and you can redirect that to air.txt or whatever file you want. And now if I type normal.txt, I get my thousand lines of output. And if I type air.txt, I just get my error messages. So being able to split up your error output and your um, normal output can be useful sometimes. And uh, in Node, it's as simple as using console.air, which has the same interface as console.log. So for example, I can say I got error number and then percent %d. And then I can give it an error code. And let's go ahead and set the, this is error code 567. And if I run it now, here's my error code. Oops. <laughs> 